Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wheel of Horror. This is episode whatever now, and let's just spin the wheel and see what we're going to get. We got no new suggestions, so hopefully it's a good movie. And it is Bad Moon, so thank you, Tony, for the suggestion, and let's get to the review. Bad Moon was released in 1996 and was directed by Eric Red. It stars Primo, a very good boy German Shepherd, and is about Thor, who is protecting his family from a werewolf. So every other description of this movie gives it as like, it's about Ted and Janet and their little, and this little boy named uh, Brett, who's the son of Janet. That is not the main characters of this movie to me. The main character is the good boy, Thor. He is so good. He is such a good boy. And he is the greatest part about this movie. So before I start uh, listing some pros and some cons, I do want to say thank you to Tony for suggesting this movie. I had a blast watching it. It's not the greatest movie ever. It's definitely a B movie. Um, I know critics did not agree. They thought it was in between, like, just... They just thought it was bad, that it wasn't can't be B movie enough. But honestly, I thought it was B movie enough. I thought it was cute. I thought that had, like, a cute little message. Um, the acting is really bad. Uh, apparently the main actress of it, who plays Janet, don't know her name, is famous. She was in a show called Civil War or Civil Wars. Um, she was in an episode of Law and Order, but yeah, no, she's not very good in this. She struggles, and every other character struggles. Ted is probably the worst character, or Flopsy. Yes, there's a character called Flopsy. We never learn his name, and Janet calls him Flopsy, so that becomes his name in the credits, but he is really bad, too. Just the acting in general is very terrible. The best actor in all this, though, was good boy Primo as Thor, who, who would have thought he was the best part about this movie. I mean, when I first got started watching this movie, and it was just an initial sex scene, I was like, oh, no. This is about to be really bad, isn't it? But Thor saves this movie. I mean, he is adorable. He didn't say anything that would make me dislike him. He just barked, and that was all that I wanted him to do. Bark, growl. He pees on a trailer at one part. That's very funny. And I will say, there's a very funny scene with Ted. Uh, you know, I don't want to spoil too much, but just Ted when he's by Thor's little home outside that part is pretty funny a lot of the movie is very funny and some of it isn't really intentionally funny but there are some intentional jokes that i genuinely laughed at i mean it's not as bad of a movie as i thought it was gonna be after that first little intro scene uh i don't want to spoil really anything with this movie but man as soon as i watched that first little intro i was really scared. I thought it was going to be a struggle bus for the rest of this movie, but it wasn't. I was pleasantly surprised. So we kind of got away from pros and cons. So with pros, Primo as Thor. That's probably my only pro. I mean, another pro I could say probably is some of the comedy lands. It's a horror film, so, you know, it's not scary at all. I really was not scared. They tried to do a little jump scare towards the end. Yeah, it didn't work, but... Going to cons, mostly everything else is a con. I mean, the acting is pretty rough. The uh, script, also pretty rough. Um, direction, pretty rough. Uh, yeah, special effects, oh my god, they were pretty bad. I don't even want to say rough for that one. They were just bad. There's a part with the transformation. You'll know where. Oh my lord, it was really bad. But, boy, I did laugh a lot, and... It was pretty funny. So, overall, I'm going to give this movie a 3 out of 10. But, on terms of a funny bad scale, which I don't know if it completely warrants it, since it's more can be B-movie, but I will give it one. I I'd say it's about a 7 out of 10. I did enjoy it. And 
I'd recommend people watch it. It would be very funny in a setting with your friends. Watching it alone isn't the best, although I did enjoy myself watching it alone. So, thank you everyone for watching, and of course, thank you again, Tony, for suggesting this movie. I really did enjoy it. But, let's flash forward to the next reveal.